Hello, this is from today's log, just a first impression and observation. I'll get down to the details and leave the unboxing at the end to include folks who are planning to buy an X500. Very similar to its sibling, same function, XK did not strafe too much away from the successful X380, but just made it bigger. To do that, XK did what was essential, added some solid arms, carbon fiber structure, bigger motors, huge propellers. Here is a 12 volts port for the gimbal. To compensate for the extra weight, no headlights, reduce the body to nothing. Like the Harley days, just a thin plastic shell. It may be ugly for some, but it is probably easier to repair. Here you see the receiver, connected to the data bus, one wire. Here is the flight controller, and a closer look at it. To the left, it connects to the external GPS and compass. The X500 flew really well, so I'm still impressed with how the flight controller handles the quadcopter, auto takeoffs, and return home. This is the GPS sitting at the top. The big button here is the status indicator. It is actually one of the best adoption I've ever seen in multi rotors, as it assists you in calibration and also confirms each step of the way. Check this out. Self-tightening prop nuts. Unique design. It works great. I think this is the best change. The quadcopter weighs 2.92 pounds and the stock battery is just over a pound. Since the battery is placed on the outside, you have the flexibility to put a range of batteries. Just some personal thoughts to sum it up. Good quadcopter, absolutely. For some people, big is better, but let's pause and think about that. Since it is the same X configuration quadcopter, it is not offering a whole lot more flight time and the same features. You may just need to justify the need for a heavier and more expensive battery if you plan to carry the same GoPro light camera. If you like the taller skates, yes, maybe a G3D gimbal will fit better, maybe a Sony RX100. I'll let you decide. I will first demonstrate the headlock mode accuracy and completed auto return home back. I've never used to be a fan of intelligent orientation control aka headlock here, but have begun to appreciate it as an alternate way to return home without GPS. Using compass, forward is forward, backwards is pulling back, regardless of which direction the model is facing. However, headlock is relative to where you are standing during takeoff, so if you decide to walk across the street, you may just get confused with the direction you were facing. This is Leo, signing off.